Hey guys, it's me Carrie, and we are going to do a really long lip balm review video. I'm giving you the heads up in advance. I try to keep my lip balm review vids fairly short, but I have got a bunch of lip smackers that are brand new that I received, some from friend mails. A couple were actually in person friend gifts that I got from my friend Jackie, one my husband bought me, and a few I picked up myself at the Dollar Tree. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 lip smackers to review here. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a lip balm review in Bonanza. Why not? You know what? Some people only like short videos. I tend to ramble. So we're just going to go ahead and do a marathon review, guys. Okay, these are the first ones I'm going to review. These are the Layer It Lip Smackers, and they are in the scents Raspberry Orange Sorbet and Berry Cream Cake. And these, I believe, I picked up myself at the Dollar Tree. I have several other ones from this line, and I've liked them all, I think, except for one. And somebody, a, a couple of people have actually commented on that video that they think I might have gotten one that turned because they've really liked the scents and flavors. And I definitely did not. So I don't know if that's the case. But this, these were the last remaining two that I think are in existence that I didn't have in my collection. So I picked them up. But again, it just says raspberry plus orange on here. But the actual name on the package was, what did I just say it was? Oh, man. I'm so forgetful. Raspberry orange sorbet. But from this point, we'll just call it raspberry and orange. Uh, the way the layer it's work, you get a balm on the top and you get a gloss on the bottom. So technically, it's two in one. And I'm going to start by swatching this orange. That is the color of it. I really hope I will like this. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like orange soda. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's try it and see if it has flavor. Oh, it does! Yay, yay, yay! Very, very, very happy with that. That's awesome. That's a great way to start. And then we will try now the lip gloss end, which is the raspberry. And you can see, I hope, that it's got like some shimmer to it. It's really pretty. I don't recall from the others I reviewed if the shimmer actually shows up on your lips, but I would think it probably would because it's kind of like um, holographic almost shimmer. And you don't get nearly as much gloss, but I mean, for a, a buck, which is what I paid for these at the Dollar Tree for two and one, you can't go wrong. Let me swatch first before I put it on. I hope you can see there is definitely some shimmer there. Mmm, that smells nice too. I wouldn't necessarily know that that was raspberry, though, but it does smell really good. Fruity and sweet. And it does have flavor as well. These come with a doe foot applicator. Hmm. Can't tell if you can see the shimmer, but it definitely does have shine, and it's not sticky, which is cool. I always worry about the corners of my lips when I use glosses, that it gets like kind of wadded up in there. But no, I'm happy with this. I really, really, really like this one. Definitely recommend the Raspberry and Orange Layer It. Okay, next we are going to do the second and last layer I have to review today, and this one is Berry Cream Cake. So I'm a little baffled, because it's just going to say berry and cream, I guess. So I guess one would be cream and one would be berry. I don't really know what cream would be. Like whipped cream? Like I wouldn't think it would be like just regular dairy cream. I don't think that really has a sense. But I don't know. We'll see. That looks like the color of the berry part so I would guess that this is probably the cream part because it doesn't really have much color to it. But let's see. I'm intrigued by what this is going to smell like. Hmm. Hmm. I honestly couldn't tell you. It smells kind of sweet. Does actual cream, like dairy cream, have a scent? Or is that might be what it is. I guess it's supposed to be like dairy cream or whipped cream. It's it's just sweet and not very strong. It's definitely not like vanilla or anything. I honestly couldn't tell you. It feels really nice on my lips. As a pleasant taste, but yeah, I legit cannot tell you. 
what cream is supposed to taste like or smell like except to say that it's a pleasant smell and a pleasant flavor so this must be the berry and why can't i get this okay there we go get that open and again it's, it's got a huge bubble in it this one but it's got the shimmer to it and it's a much lighter color although the color there is no real color payoff at all it's just shimmery but let's say you can see like the doe foot applicator like doesn't really have it's not as dark as the other one was because the color of the actual gloss was darker in that let's see oh swatch first hmm now that's the berry I couldn't pinpoint what type of berry and honestly it's not my favorite scent but it's not bad That one doesn't have much flavor either. So I'm going to go with berry and cream, not so much of a fan. I, I mean, for a dollar, you might want it if you're a collector just to have, but I think that the raspberry and orange is 100 times better than the berry and cream. All right, next up, we have three Lip Smacker Sparklers, and I only own one of these, I believe. I honestly can't even remember which scent I have, but these were all three gifted to me by my, by my amazing friend, Julie. She got me vanilla frosting, watermelon ice, and celestial strawberry. And I'm not reading you numbers from them, but I mean, if you're interested in the numbers at the top, I mean, really the knowing the name is more important. Um, vanilla frosting is 906, watermelon ice is 908, and celestial strawberry is 909. But these are really, really cute. These are, again, I think going to have doe foot applicators. They are glosses as opposed to bombs. And the packaging on these are so cute. I love that it's got the little cupcake on there. I love that the lid is just like the silver sparkles. And you can see that these are sparkler lip smackers. They do have definitely shimmer to them and different colors. This one is white. The watermelon ice is pink. And then the celestial strawberry is like a darker pink, almost red but I don't think these will have color payoff. I'm imagining they're probably just going to have shimmer to them. But that is what it looks like on the doe foot. And let's see. And I don't think you guys are going to be able to see, but I do think that there's some shimmer showing on my hand there. Oh, that smells delicious. That definitely smells like vanilla frosting, exactly what it's supposed to, which is cool. Let's try it on. Subtle flavor, not as much as some of the others, but it does have a little bit of flavor to it. And like the gloss part of the layer, it's, it's not sticky at all. Feels moisturizing, feels nice and slippery and slick. Definitely I'm seeing shimmer to it, so I really like that one a lot. I wish that there was a little more flavor to it, but that's not a huge deal because the scent is wonderful. And the packaging is wonderful. And you get a lot in these, too. You get 0.27 fluid ounces. So I think that's a lot of product, for, especially if you find these at the Dollar Tree, which subsequently, since receiving these from Julie, I have seen some at the Dollar Tree. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. This one is the Watermelon Ice, and it is a pink color, a light pink color. And again, it's got the shimmer in it, and it's got the cute watermelon slice on it and the same sparkly silver cap. And you can see that the doe foot applicator is a bit pinkier because the product is a bit pinkier. Well, pink, because the other one wasn't pink at all. Let's swatch. Again, though, it does come out clear with just some shimmer in it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that actually smells like legit watermelon. Like, not artificial watermelon. It smells like if you were to actually slice fresh watermelon. That's really cool. Oh, I hope this has a flavor, too. But this scent is fantastic. Again, just a little, little bit of flavor. These do actually advertise delicious flavor. As you can see on the side there, they do have delicious flavor. It's not as strong as the scent, but there is some flavor to them. But I'm getting the scent wafting up off my lips from this one. So I really like this one. 
even better than the vanilla frosting. Yes, watermelon ice is definitely a good one if you're into watermelon. But again, just be prepared. It's not going to be that super, super strong, like, fakey watermelon scent that you would get, like, in a piece of gum or something. It smells more like actual watermelon, which I think is so cool. And then the last Lip Smacker Sparkler I have here is Celestial Strawberry. I'm just going to bust into it. And this one is an even darker pink, like I said, bordering on red. And again, it's got the shimmer to it. It's got a cute picture of a strawberry and the same sparkly red lid, a uh, sparkly red, sparkly silver lid. And you can tell again from the doe foot applicators, you can see like that the colors are a little darker as you go on, but they don't really show up dark. They just show up clear with shimmer. And there is that one. Okay, let's see. Hmm, I like that strawberry too. Not as much as the watermelon, but I do like the strawberry scent. Let's see, let's see if it has a flavor. So now that I see on the packaging that these do say that they should be flavored, I want it to be, so. Subtle, very subtle. In the case of all three of the sparklers, the scents are stronger than the flavors, but the flavor is there. It's just not very prevalent. So I'm going to say out of those three, definitely watermelon ice. If you were just going to choose one would be the one that I would recommend. Okay, guys, next up I have, I don't think I've ever had one like this. This is called a Fusion Lip Smacker, and it is a squeezy tube in raspberry lime. This one I picked out, my husband bought it for me, but I picked it out from the Dollar Tree, and I was so excited to see it, not only because it's unique to my collection. I have other squeezy tube lip smackers, but not ever one that says Fusion on it before, which I'm presuming is because it is a fusion of two disparate flavors, in this case, raspberry and lime. Packaging is adorbs. I love that it's just got that kind of, um, like, paint swirl kind of look to it. I just think it's really, really pretty. And this one you get 0.42 fluid ounces, so that you actually get by far the most product. That's very, very cool. And particularly for a dollar. You get the little slanted squeezy tube applicator there. I just want to wipe my hand again. I don't know how I can smell anything at this point because I'm just wiping my hand with a dry paper towel. Ooh, okay, I barely squeezed it, and you can see, hopefully, that there's some liquid already coming out. Okay, there we go. That is what it looks like, very wet and glossy. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm not getting so much the raspberry, but I'm definitely getting a lot of the lime scent. But no, it is lime mixed with something. I'm a huge fan of lime, and I don't have a lot of lime lip balm so I'm, or lip glosses, so I'm really happy about that. It's definitely not strictly lime. I wouldn't know. Feels like it's not coming out. You squeeze it hard, I know. There I go. I wouldn't necessarily know that the other scent is raspberry, but... Definitely the lime is super strong and pronounced. That does not have flavor. I'm checking the package to see if it says that it should. It actually does not, so that's okay then. Oh, yeah, it does. Actually, yeah, it does. Is this the right package? No, I'm looking at the sparkler. Okay. Nope. Let's see. Enjoy a blend of two delicious fruit flavors fused together to create an innovative combo unlike any other. This moisturizing dual flavored gloss glides on with ease and softens lips. Okay, so it says two fruit flavors, but it doesn't necessarily say that the lip balm itself will be flavored or the lip gloss itself will be flavored, so I can't complain about that. Yeah, it's definitely not. But the scent is really cool and unique, and the formula is nice. I love when squeezy tube glosses are not sticky. That's why I don't buy them too often, because a lot of times they are very sticky. This one is not at all, so yay for that. So I would recommend that one as well. Okay, these two 
are the regular Lip Smacker Stick Balms. And these were freebies, I believe, that my friend Jackie got when she ordered me a bunch of wonderful goodies recently from lipsmacker.com. This one is Glistening Cherry Glaze, and this one is Orange Cream Egg. And amazingly, I don't have either of these in my collection yet, so I'm really, really, really excited to try these. I like this one, that the way the packaging is, it's like clear, so you can kind of see the gel formula, like jelly formula um, lip balm inside. Yeah, that reminds me of the, except for the fact that this is pigmented looking, um, it reminds me of the new Carmexes, how they've got that jelly looking formula to them. Let's see, there is no color payoff with this. Oh my gosh, it smells really good though. Oh wow. Yeah, it's a nice strong cherry scent. Hmm, sadly no flavor which I'm actually surprised about because I find that generally lip smackers do have flavors. This one's also slightly sticky, just to put that out there. But I like it, and I'll definitely use it, so yay for that. But yeah, actually really quite shocked that it's as sticky as it is. It looks like the Carmex formula, but it does not feel like it at all. Um, yeah, a little bummed that it's sticky and doesn't have a flavor to it, but it's still really cool and unique to have in my collection. And this one, Orange Cream Egg, I'm so excited for because I love creamsicles and orange and cream, you know. You expect it to be like a creamsicle, and I'm hoping it will be. This one is the more standard-looking um, lip smacker balm type. It's not like that jellyish type like the other one looked like. So this one I'm hoping will have a really nice scent and flavor, let's see. Yeah, and it doesn't feel thick or sticky when I glide it on either. That one felt a little thick on my hand even. Hmm. It does smell good. It almost smells a little bit like a sour orange though, which is kind of weird. Let me say that this has flavor. Hmm. See, it doesn't taste sour. It tastes creamsicle-y, if that's a thing. Maybe it's more like mandarin orange, like, or mandarin orange is the one that have, like, a more intense orange flavor than, like, just a standard, like, navel orange or something, because it seems more intensely orange, if that makes any sense. Not in a bad way, just different than what I expected. It's definitely more orange, less cream, but that's a good one, and it doesn't feel sticky at all, so that's, that's a winner. So of those two, I would highly recommend Orange Cream Egg, Glistening uh, Cherry Glaze, and eh, not so much. All right, we're getting there, guys. We're getting to the home stretch. There's six left. I have three Lux Lip Smackers. I believe I own one already, and these were the remaining three that they had at the Dollar Tree. I believe I bought these myself. Um, that is what they look like. I have here number 443, Vanilla Bean Sorbet, 444, Tangerine Pop, and 445, Caramel Sorbet. So let's start with Vanilla Bean Sorbet. This one is a light pink color, and it's got some glitter in it. Looks, again, like holographic kind of glitter. I know, I'm opening packages on camera. Sorry to those who hate that, but, you know, it's a necessary evil when you're a lip balm reviewer. That is what it looks like. It's a really pretty, like, I would say like a almost Barbie pink, like a cotton candy pink, I guess, color with the really, really pretty iridescent holographic glitter in it. And I like how the tube is kind of tapered, so it looks fancy. Anything that says Lux, you expect it to be fancy, right? So that is what it looks like. Again, a doe foot applicator. We'll swatch it right over here. And yeah, you can definitely see the holographic glitter in there, I hope. I know this is not the best angle, guys, but trust, it's there. And let's see. Mmm, that smells really cool. I like that. I would not necessarily say vanilla bean, though. It almost smells strawberry-ish to me, which is kind of weird. Like, strawberries and cream, maybe? Not strictly, like, strawberry, but I wouldn't necessarily say that smells like vanilla bean. Let's see for flavor and quality, obviously. Feels nice. A little thick, not sticky. Good, good, good. Let me get my corners there. 
no flavor I, that I can discern on the package. It says, let's see, drench your lips with a gorgeous high impact shine that lasts. This deluxe sponge on lip gloss delivers pure luxury for the lips, sophisticated flavors, and multi-dimensional finishes. Glide it on and shine on. Definitely not getting a flavor. But it's really nice. It feels amazing. I love the look of it. I just, it does look luxe to me. It looks fancy. Just the tapered tube, the black lids, just classy. It looks like it would be something like, you know, that would be really expensive. I thought I had it upside down. I might not have, but it looks like it would be way more expensive than a dollar. So if you can find these at your Dollar Tree, I'd say go for it. They feel really nice on the lips in spite of no flavor. I know some of you don't even care about flavor. So in that case, I definitely would recommend it for you. This one is the Tangerine Pop, and this one is, it's got like very, very, very fine shimmer to it, not really glitter pieces like the other one, and it's not holographic. I hope you'll be able to see when I hold it up a little bit what I'm talking about. It's shimmery, it's almost like gold shimmer, and the pink is much, much darker. It's not as, sh like, this one was kind of almost a translucent pink. This one's much more like of a solid thick pink, if that makes sense. Let me swatch this one. And that's what it looks like on the applicator. We'll swatch this one over here. I'm gonna have to wipe my hands off again in a minute. But yeah, that one you can't really see the shimmer too well, but it's there, it's subtle. Mmm. Well, that smells really, really nice. And I definitely do pick up citrus. I mean, I've not had enough experience with tangerine specifically to say, oh, that's tangerine, but it definitely smells citrusy, so that's good. And again, no flavor, but feels really nice. Moisturizing, shiny. I think there's a little bit of shimmer showing. No stickiness whatsoever. So yeah, I'm 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 a fan of these. I, I of everything I've tried so far, I think my favorites are these Lux Lip Smackers and the um and the Sparklers. Well, no, I really did dig the layer it in Raspberry Orange too. So I don't know, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty happy with everything. There's nothing in this set that I'm not happy with so far, except probably my least favorite is the Glistening Cherry Cake Stick Bomb, just because it's really sticky. And that's so disappointing because that is never, in my experience, ever been the case with a lip smack or stick balm. Ever, 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 ever. So I'm really, really shocked by that. And this is the last Lux one. I'm going to wipe my hand again. Oop, and I'm dropping papers on the floor. And this one is the Caramel Sorbet. Again, I know this is long, guys, but I warned you it would be. Because I, I, I have some people, honestly, that request, could you do a bunch of lip balm reviews on one video? And I've never really done this many so I sure why not you know I'm happy to try new things and you know especially if they're viewer requests this one is like a mm, like a nude taupey color almost and it's got again the holographic sparkly glitter in it and as I said oh and they do have the names on the bottom that's good you can't really tell but it does say caramel sorbet on the bottom because I was thinking how am I going to label these to know which flavors they are because it's not written on there it just says Lux Lip Smacker but that is um yeah, caramel sorbet. Super high hopes for this. I love caramel. And that is what it looks like on the applicator. Let's swatch, swatch, swatch. Ooh, yeah, that one's got a lot of pretty holographic glitter in it. That's probably the best shot you've gotten of any of these so far, I'm thinking. Hopefully. Holy cannoli, I love this. This is my favorite thing, bar none, that I have reviewed in this video. This is amazing. If this has flavor, which it probably won't, it could become a holy grail for me, but I don't think it will. Mm, don't think so, maybe a tiny bit, but again, I think I could be imagining that because I do sometimes, but still, I'm getting the scent still. I really love, love, love the scent. I think it looks really pretty. I'm 
very, 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 very much into this one. This is, again, Caramel Sorbet Luxe Lip Smacker. Of everything in this video so far, this is the item I would most highly recommend if you can try it. And you like caramel, obviously. If you're not into caramel scents, then you wouldn't want it. Okay, down to the last three guys. You may actually get this done in 30 minutes or less. Do I get a free pizza? I know, they don't even do that anymore. But anyway, okay, we've got two Roll It Lip Smackers. So these are obviously the Roller Balls. These, this is 551, which is cotton candy, and 554, which is vanilla. And these, again, were gifts to my friend Julie. I think I have one of these in maybe watermelon, and that's the only one I've ever been able to find. So thanks to wonderful Julie, now I have two more. Love the packaging. So, so, so fun, and it looks like... 60s like psychedelic or something which is an era i wish i lived during i love the color i love that it's got the big bubble inside and you can actually watch the bubble rise if you had that kind of time on your hands which i know you guys don't but i do so i might actually sit and stare at it when i'm done with this video and i love the blue and pink combination now these are sometimes very sticky too so i'm really hoping that this won't be let's see let's see let's see doesn't feel like it on my hand. Looks nice and wet and shiny. Mm. This might be the best cotton candy scented lip smacker item I've smelled in a while. Let's see if it has any flavor to it. Mmm. Oh yeah, it does. That has flavor. And it this is probably my favorite cotton candy item that I've tried in a really long time in terms of scent and flavor. And it doesn't feel sticky. Hooray, I'm so happy about that. It just goes on really slick and wet and moist, but it doesn't, it's not like one of those ones that feels like it's just gonna absorb and be gone. Like I can feel it resting on top of my lips as well as sinking in, if that makes sense. I'm super, super into that. Okay, so we're putting the items that I love off to the side because at the end of the video I want to tell you the things that I absolutely recommend the most highly but that is such an awesome surprise I wasn't sure what to expect of that to be honest with you and then this one is the vanilla and oh my gosh if this one is nearly as good as the cotton candy I'll be thrilled because I love vanilla scented things and flavored things and this one again has the same cool psychedelic swirly design but in purple and pink instead which is awesome and I know a lot of you guys are huge fans of purple so you might like this just for the packaging and my hands are like slick now okay there we go I was gonna say can I please get this off and again it's just a little it's a really little rollerball too like I've seen other rollerball lip glosses that have much bigger rollerballs I like that this one's kind of small this one I feel like I have to really work it though to get the the stuff out. Okay, why is this not feeling, it doesn't feel like it's rolling, guys. Let me try it on the paper towel and see if I can get that to go. That legitimately does not feel like anything is coming out. Okay, that's making me sad. Yeah, it feels like it's not coming out at all. I'm not sure why. If it's just made defectively. Okay, wait, now I want to see that ball roll. Okay, I'm feeling it a little bit on my fingers now. See, it's weird because the other one gl glided on so effortlessly. It feels like this is defective, like the ball is like not in place properly. It doesn't feel like it's moving at all. Oh, I'm just going to rub it like 9,000 times. Okay, maybe it's working now. I think I got a little bit out, but not very much. Let's see if it works any better on my lips. Okay, see now it feels like it's rolling, so that's really weird. That's incredibly weird. Some did come out. It's much, much, much lighter scented and much, much, much lighter flavored. And I think part of that, honestly, is because I'm really having to struggle to get the product out. So I think I might have gotten one that was made a little bit wonky. That ball is not rolling correctly. So that's really disappointing. But I'll play with it when I get off camera and see if I can get it to work any better. But um, yeah, that kind of bums me out. Okay, we're not going to make 30 minutes, but that's okay. We're going to be we're gonna be just over because I have just one left to review. And this is the Luscious Lip Smacker in Pomegranate Fizz. 
and somehow I ended up not getting this one when I think I want to say maybe last year they had a bunch of luscious lip smackers at the Dollar Tree and I bought up all the ones that I could find somehow I ended up not getting this one so I'm really stoked to have it now and this one again it has the flavor name on the bottom which is very cool it is really pretty that is how much product you get but I want to keep it down because I don't want to break it off the top I don't recall these being pigmented uh, okay maybe a little bit there's definitely some color there I don't know if it'll show on the lips these are really really jellyish as well oh wow that smells so good it smells really really good let me try it on my lips this is definitely thicker than any of the other products that I have tried in this video and you can feel like the grainy texture like I hope you can see I don't know it's like there's like there's glitter in there but it's like dimensional glitter like you can feel it almost like I've never tried a lip scrub but I've tried like facial scrubs and it feels like foot scrubs those sorts of things it feels like there's something scrubby in it it's not painful it's not excessive but there is something grainy in there, so just be prepared. Okay, it's not, maybe it's a little bit sticky. It's definitely very thick. Yes, yeah, so I feel like I'm getting the grainy stuff in my mouth when I lick my lips. Hmm. <laughs> I am still digging it though. It looks really pretty on. Flavor is very subtle, but the scent is fabulous. And I, in spite of the graininess, and that may be just in this pomegranate one, that may be symptomatic of all Luscious Lip Smackers. Honestly, it's been so long since I tested my other ones. I don't even know if I did formal reviews of them. I don't remember if they were like that as well. But in spite of that, I still really like it a lot. So overall, guys, out of all the stuff that I have reviewed in this video today, the one, the three items that I definitely, definitely, definitely wholeheartedly recommend that you try are this Lux Lip Smacker in Caramel Sorbet, which is my single favorite item in the whole video. Second item would be the Roll It Lip Smacker in Cotton Candy, the best cotton candy lip product I have tried in ages, and I've been trying a lot lately because that's a popular scent and flavor. And lastly, in spite of the weird grainy texture, I still really, really like this Pomegranate Fizz Luscious Lip Smacker. So yeah, guys, that those, those are my thoughts. <laughs> I hope this video was fun for you. I hope it wasn't too long. I know for some of you, you'll probably say it was too long. Maybe some of you will be like, yay, I, I enjoyed having 32 minutes and 47 counting seconds with you, Carrie. But I really had a lot of fun shooting this. And it was nice to get a whole bunch of stuff done at once because now it's like, woohoo, it's out of my review box and I can go ahead and use to my heart's desire all of these items. But yeah, right now I'm putting on some more of this caramel sorbet because this is freaking amazing. Like, like I said, in spite of it not having flavor and you guys know that I'm really into things having flavor, I love it anyway. Mm. it smells good I can smell it on my lips and it feels so awesome and I think it looks really pretty too so yeah this is this is this is my bay right here and I can't believe I actually use that term because I've never done that in my entire life and I'm way too old to be using that lingo but yeah it's bay people buy this one <laughs> God, I'm embarrassed now. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. And I will definitely be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.